let's see here. George says, uh, just received a package of bees a week ago. Was wondering how long it takes for the queen to start laying on drawn foundations. Okay. Um, that's a great question. And what I would say is, is that the queen, she's going to be re- released um, on day three once you put her into the hive. That's one of the, the great things about feeding your bees uh, the one-to-one sugar water is they're going to be developing that comb. And by the time she gets out, she's going to start laying almost immediately. If it's a very, very young queen, it might take a day or two, and then she'll start getting bigger and bigger. You'll see that it's a small queen to start out with, but she begins to develop an eggs, uh, eggs within her, and then she just starts getting really massive. But there, there's always a question if I have a small queen, are they just as good as a big queen? Because, you know, we're kind of led to believe bigger is better. Not necessarily. Some of the best queens that I've had are very small queens. They're just really good layers, and they're well-mated. So you can't really determine how good or bad a, a queen is by the size of her. So um, a queen will get out like, like what he was asking, Brian, and almost begin laying immediately.